A very good day, my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. Love it was that made us, and it was love that saved us. Love was God's plan when He made man. God's divine nature is love. One of all, we must love Him. That's why He made us to love Him. But only when, when we love all men, can we partake of God's love. to the gospel of john chapter 15 verses from 9 to 17 speaks of love now what is love if we just summarize our religion our christianity we can just put it our Christianity one to one word that is love now jesus coming to the end of his life with his lengthy discourse and we are in the chapter 15 now he wants to complete everything now having washed the feet of his disciples he showed them and gave them a new commandment of love and set us an example and that's why he says love one another as i have loved you how much god loved us he wants all of us to look at the crucifixion Thus far he loved us and he loves us. That's why Jesus says, Is there any other greater love than to lay down one's own life to one's own friend? Thus far Jesus loves all of us. and also he loves all of us as we are selfless love unconditional love today when we consider this particular thing love we all are looking for that love as parents they're looking for that love from their children as children they look for that love from their parents as husbands wives they look for that love we all need that love because love changes everything i can remember one day a girl girl came up to me crying saying father my father is an alcoholic and he disturbs all our life he destroys our lives and i even hate to look at his face and is never going to stop drinking i told her look from today onwards you should not hate him just accept him as he is and just ignore him his addiction you begin to love him love him more than anybody else and she went off and after some time she came back to me once again crying this time the tears tears of happiness 
she told me. Father, as you told me, I began to love him. And day by day, I felt he was changing. And today, he has stopped his drinking. My dear brothers and sisters, love can change everything. That is what Jesus did to Zacharias. He just went to stay with him. He loved him as his and that changes his life. When Jesus invites all of us today to remain in that love, he calls for a relationship. Because the word remain in Greek is meno, that stood for relationship, heart, soul, unity. It's a relationship. Today, that's our problem too. For most of our problems, we are not loud enough. Today, love is a medicine. It heals our inner wounds, emotional wounds, psychological wounds. When we feel we are loved, and that is what keeps all of us going. So when Jesus says, love one another as I have loved you, is highly demanding. Because it's a selfless love, unconditional love. It is not something impossible, but we need to experience personally that love of Christ deep within my heart. I can't give out what I don't experience. So first I have to love myself. I have to begin with myself. And to love myself, to be filled with the love of Christ. And then to radiate that love to one another. That's why it is in uh, 1 John chapter 4, verse 20, it says, Those who say, I love God, and hate their brothers or sisters, are liars. For those who do not love a brother or sister whom they have seen, cannot love God whom they have not seen. My dear brothers and sisters, we can't love God if we simply don't love my brothers and sisters who are with me. So let us pray during this day, very special. As Jesus says, you didn't choose me, but I chose you. We have been chosen by God to love. We are made to love. So let us remain in that love. Let us be filled with that love. And having received that love, let us take that love to one another. It's more doing than a feeling. Love is not a mere, 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 mere feeling. It's more doing. That's what in Matthew chapter 25, verses 31 to 46, Jesus speaks of that. We can say, I love you, and remain there. No. That love has to be expressed in day to day life. In doing something. That's why he says, I don't want your lip services. All what I need is charity. 
So the charity begins at home. Let us begin with ourselves and ask the Spirit of the Lord guide us. Amen. May God bless you all.